Do I really need to upgrade to the Air 2S? Isn't the Air 2 the same thing? Minor upgrade, you say? Okay, here we go. Air 2 versus Air 2S in the night. Are you ready? Let's do this. First up, Air 2. Master Air Screw Plop props I've got on, the black edition. Now they don't believe in you, little guy. Little guy camera over here with your half inch sensor. But I do. Up, up, and away. I can't, I can't see nothing, actually. Everything is in auto. EV is plus zero, zero. We're not in zoom 4K. We're in wide 4K 30. We're doing MP4 normal because one does D cine like one does D log. I don't want to get into it. Let's just keep things normal. Keep our white balance even on auto. Everything on auto, right? Auto gives you a good starting point of what each camera is capable of. So let's go fly this thing. All right, so I'm just going to go up. Hopefully I can see some kind of light over here i'm actually looking for the globe 80 feet it's actually 100 feet is maximum for this area here i'm not supposed to go above 100 feet oh there we go we got some light see we got some light we got some light out of the darks and the trees and the everything we've got some light so yeah let's head for the light we're gonna hit record Jeez, I hope these trees are not higher than 100 feet. Let me go to the max 100 feet. It can't go above 100 feet because then, yeah, they got laws around here. <laughs> now, the beauty comes alive. As you can see, all sensors just need light. Doesn't matter how small it is. As long as you can give it light, you will get good quality. There you go. This, this looks luscious. This looks beautiful. This looks absolutely beautiful. I don't see anything wrong with this except the cop cars way behind there. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but yeah. All right, let's do a nice little orbit. Not bad. Not bad. Beautiful. And when you're orbiting things to avoid hitting anything, you want to stay as close as possible to what you're orbiting. All right, now I'm talking to you. It's kind of hard to talk, talk and focus at the same time. Got to keep it nice and tight in orbit. Image looks good, Air 2. Image looks crispy clean. Can't complain. I can't complain, guys. I really can't. Got to compare this to the Air 2S. See how you do, boy. And again, everything just auto. Everything in auto. All right, good. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a blast with this little guy over here. All right, let's turn around, go around a little bit. Now let's go to somewhere where it's not too well lit. Look, look down this path here. Hit record. You know, you really can't see the trees though, apart from the lights that's sticking out there. You can see some city lights in the backdrop over there. See as we're approaching the lights now, how everything brightens up as we're getting towards the stadium. Everything just starts getting bright up, but the you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. It's hard to see where you're going, but it doesn't look too bad because we have the light. Now we got the tennis stadium over here, right? No tennis tonight, of course. And then we've got the highway with the little hall of science behind there. Pretty nice. Now we're just going to park up at this highway over here. Don't want to go too far. There we go. And see how things look at the highway. I'm not going to get into the highway, but we'll get there you go. That's the shot you want right up to the highway, but not on the highway. There you go. That that that's pretty much the shot we get. Now, this is auto zero exposure. As you can see, the camera's doing all the work for us. All right. Enough is enough. Let's head back. Ouch, you are bright. What do you think? All right. Air 2S turn. Let's get this bad boy up in the air and see if you will uh, demolish your little brother. <laughs> 4K 30, just like the other one. Uh, actually, this one has 5.4K in your life. <laughs> But come on, come on, we gotta keep it at the 4K. Um, this one has tap to focus, so we have to make sure we tap to focus. And that's pretty much it. Everything is in auto. All right, let's hit record. And let's head up. What they say, dark is dark, right? Let's look for that globe. Oh, there's the globe. Let's fly over. Nice and slow. All right, 
staying under that hundred foot. There we go. Let's tap to focus. This one has focus. I don't think the air two has focus. I want to make sure I'm focused on the globe. There we go. Let's approach. Looking good. This one flies just like the air two. Wow, but hey, everything is a lot clearer. I can see the trees, how low the trees are. It's not just blacked out. You know what I'm saying? It's just nice and clean and clear. All right, let's get up close and then we'll do an orbit. And this guy over here. There we go. Come down a little bit. And we can start the orbiting. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. I mean, the Air 2 didn't look bad, but wow. I mean, this is like details galore. Let me tilt the camera down a little bit. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now I can go up a little higher. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, hold it, X. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Man. Damn, you gotta love it. You need some Air 2S in your life with some orbit. Here we go, you can see the city in the background and I believe this view is a little wider. I feel like I could see more. We're heading down there, we're heading towards. Looks good. I'm not a big fan of the white balance, but yeah, but it looks good. I could see the top of the trees, the tree lines. I just, I just feel a lot more comfortable flying this. Um, I can see a lot more at night, even on the screen over here as I'm flying. If we go up to the stadium over here, I can see everything. The tip of the poles, the light is nice and clean and clear. The air too is doing a good job, but wow, this is just a lot cleaner, a lot clearer. All right, let's turn and head towards the stadium. Wow, everything is just the detail on the ground by the lights. I mean, you know, unless, I, I don't know if you guys can see the difference already, but for me, it's like, it, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Wow. Wow, look at this stadium nice and clear. You could see the details and everything. Wow, I didn't even know there was a light there. Like literally look, look right at the top right there, at the top right there. There's a light there shining over there. I didn't even see that with the air too, to be honest with you. I was just, I was just flying. I didn't even see that with the air too. Yeah, but there's just a lot more definition over here. All right, let's go to the highway. Yep, there's another one over there to the right. Wow, I didn't even see that with the air too. That's crazy. All right, let's go over here. Same position where we were. There we go. I'll tilt the camera down a little bit. I remember the air too was a lot more tilted, more focused on the highway. Everything just seems to be a lot clearer over here. Just a lot. Now I will see if the battery's dying faster because I know I came back with 50% with the air and I'm already at 50% and I haven't even worked my way back yet. All right, so let's switch it up. Let's go into, let's change it from auto to pro. And we're gonna crank the ISO up to its max. And we're gonna bring the shutter down to the lowest. Same thing we did with the, with the regular air. And the white balance, we're gonna leave it on auto. White balance, where are you? Yes, white balance is on auto. And, and that's pretty much it. That, that's wide open. Let's tap and focus. And that's what you get in pro mode looks good don't see much grain in the sky although i'm pretty sure if i look up there's a lot of grain in the sky but you know one inch sensor half inch sensor what are you gonna do yeah let's turn around oh wow look at the blue building there a lot a lot clearer hmm and whoa now look at the stadium whoa want to talk about bright oh man now that's what i call bright all right let's head back we're in pro mode We've got everything cranked out to the full center sensor potential on pro mode. Wow, look at the ground. Like, look how well lit it is. I can even see if there's people on the ground. This is ridiculously bright, much more brighter. Okay, I'm going to have to take the trees over here. 
Why? Because they're people. All of a sudden, they have decided to, yeah, take the route that I'm taking. But yeah, I could see the trees a lot clearer. I could see everything, the ground a lot clearer. It's just a lot safer to fly with this in low light. So, yeah. All right. There we go. The signal's starting to get a little bit choppy. I would say the ear, the ear, the ear two signal is much better than the S, at least with the smart controller. Um, yeah. Well, you know, the, the smart controller is really designed for Ocusync 2, and the Air 2 is Ocusync 2. This one's actually Ocusync 3, so maybe that's why. I don't know, but, I mean, it's still decent. It flies. All right, that's it. Let's, let's bring her back. They, whoa. Right, sucker. There you go. You seen it for yourself. So what are you thinking? Let me know in the comment section below. Now you heard my thoughts as I was flying. What are your thoughts? Is there a huge difference? No difference at all. Nothing to talk about. Do we need to review this in the day to make a final judgment or ruling? I know some of you guys can't even fly tonight. It's not even legal in some areas, but some of you can and some of you have and some of you will never. Let me know in the comment section, should I conclude this after flying in the day? Or are you satisfied that this is a worthy upgrade? Or this is absolutely good enough. Either which way, I'm loving them both. I'll fly this at night and I'll definitely fly any, meeny, miny, mo in the day. If I need a little bit more battery life and if I need, I don't know, some D-log in my life. But either which way, guys, hit up the comment section and let me know. What have you done? Are you upgrading? Are you keeping this? Are you just going to buy this because you don't need this? Or you want the latest and greatest? Or you don't care at all? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I uh, will see you guys, well, whenever I can. Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel and there's benefits. Last Mini 2 went all the way to the UK.